Hi guys, post match Manchester City. I know I predicted 2-1, and to be honest with you, we could have done. I think we could have pinched that one. But um, we have to be fair, Manchester, Manchester City just ooze class all over the park, off the bench, on the treatment room, they're just class all the way through. But there's six, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand pounds worth of difference as well. This is our first season back, first season back in the top flight. And we're, we're earning the right. And to be honest with you, I think we are earning the right. And I think there's not many teams now that can look at us in the Premiership and think, hey, oh, there's three points because they're going to have to fight. They're going to have to fight us to the wire. And we'll play for 90, 95 minutes. We really will all the way through. Very, very proud of the lads. Great effort. Terrific team performance. And it's nice to see our bench is getting stronger as well. Pervega and Rodrigo ultimately proved, I think, the difference today. Lovely to see Rodrigo get off the mark. Fantastic. And Pervega, whew. Man possessed that fellow was. He made Mendy like an idiot. And it makes me worry about Roberts. I don't know how he's going to find... I don't know where he's going to find his place. I just don't know. I'd have thought with some of these signings coming in, he'd have probably booked his ideas and thought, you know what, if I'm not careful, I'm going to be out. And um, I think Lee's got a decision to make. Uh, but that's Sully, that's the, uh, the experts. As a fan, I'll sit here and I'll rankle with it. But, I mean, Cooper was certainly at fault in the first half for that, but... You know, at the end of the day, it was it was it was going to come about somehow. They were going to score. They were they were dominant for the first 15, 20 minutes, and they probably got exactly what they deserved. So to to to, to apportion blame on one particular player, I think is grossly unfair. Cooper, we know, gives 100 percent for the team. He totally leads through and through. Um, but no, I, I'm very very proud of the guys, the team. We just dug in, went toe to toe. With a team that won the title two seasons ago, I mean, this is this is where we've got to put keep it in perspective. And you know, I really believe that um, you know, one or two additions to the squad, which we've talked about, so we're blue in the face. And I think, to be honest with you, we're, we're good to go. And I think we really will start to uh, give this league a bit of a shake up. And uh, it'd be no more than we deserve because we've got arguably the best manager in the world. We've got guys that are fighting for the shirt and the badge. I think had we got the crowd in there today, they'd have the cop would have sucked a ball over the line for a, a winner today. But it's, it isn't what it is, and um, that time will come. But no, desperately proud. We march on together. We are leads. Hey guys, Brent here with your Man City review. Where do you start on a game like that? Just absolutely unbelievable. I don't know what to think about it. Apart from the fact that I'm just overjoyed and just so damn proud that I support Leeds United. Um, uh, end to end stuff, um, going up against one of the best teams in the world and taking it to them. None of this counter attacking stuff, taking it to them and leaving it to a point where football pundits all over the world are saying, you know, possibly two points dropped for Leeds. Um, the way the game pl played out. Um, look, I'm just so proud of this team. They they just they they never cease to amaze me, and they keep amazing me more and more and more. Um, so many questions about um, our players that were here last year. Can they handle it on the big stage? Absolutely, they can. Robin Cock was absolutely immense. Um, Rodrigo came on. And just, uh, I did predict a little bit of magic from him. I don't know if you'd call that magic, though. I wouldn't call that magic, but uh, poacher's goal. And um, and I'll take a goal any day over uh, over a little bit of magic in the box. Um, but, um, you know, the one thing I take out of this is every single game this year, I cannot wait to get at them. Um, absolutely nothing to, uh, not nothing to worry about, but nothing to fear uh, going into... Um, going into any match week um, this season, we are good enough to beat anybody. And, um, and, and I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited. I'm just, I'm just filled, filled with joy and, and pride um, that I'm a Leeds United supporter. And I'm uh, just so proud of this team. So proud of our manager. Um, they, they just, they, they bust their ass to entertain us every single week and they don't care who they're playing. Um, you know, uh, uh, Pervader, where, where where was that? Where did that performance come from? Ian Pervader, you know, it's 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 it, it's interesting. You know, you see these players who, um, not that they don't show much, but um, you know, didn't show what they were capable of in uh, 
you know, in a lower division and then um, you raise the status of their opposition and you just see a performance like Ian Pervader today. Absolutely unbelievable. You know, there's big questions now about um, what path we go down, you know, as far as Helder Costa and Ian Pervader. Costa, I think for the first time this season, um, um, I don't know if off the ball is what you'd call it, but um, uh, he was getting pushed off the ball much too easily, um, playing a little bit for free, staying down. Um, but um, but anyway, it's uh, you know Costa's been fantastic this season. But yeah, major questions now about what do we do, Ian Pervader or uh, or Helder Costa. Um, but look, anyway, guys, um, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, over the moon, just just I'm on cloud nine at the moment, um, and uh, and yeah, let's let's just keep cheering loud and just keep enjoying uh, what this team produces for us. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, uh, big result today, got a point. Um, I think some people will say we should have won, um, but I think it could have gone either way. Um, you look at, you know, you look at Ailing's chance or Bamford's chance at the end um, and say maybe we should have scored, but then, you know, there's also the free kick from De Bruyne that could have gone in um, and several chances, you know, caught clear the ball off the line. Um, so could have gone either way. I think a draw was a fair result. Um, I think we missed Harrison big time today. Um, but how about Paveda? Paveda was... Pavetta was awesome today, um, so really good to see that from him. Would like to see a little bit more of him going forward. Um, I think we need a little bit more of um, Rodrigo, obviously. He'll get worked in a little bit more. Um, I just think when both him and Bamford are at the top, um, our attack just is really fluid. Um, and with I, I think with Pavetta's performance, I'm not sure we need another winger, um, but we definitely need a cam. Um, Click was strong in the midfield, but we still need some more ball control in the middle. It just got a bit hectic there um, in the midfield um, on both sides, really. Um, but I thought, you know, I thought Phillips stepped up in the second half, um, really stuck it to De Bruyne there for a while. Um, you have to hand it to uh, Ederson, I think, um, on the other side. Um, he played really well, so you have to hand it to him. He's a world-class keeper. Um, but happy with the result. You know, like I said, we could have won, um, but we also could have lost, so I think it's a fair result. Uh, we'll take it. On to next match against Wolves. Let's go, boys. Hi, guys. I'm here to give you a few post-match thoughts on the Leeds United versus Man City game. Well, I was proven wrong, wasn't I? Um, I predicted a 4-2 loss, and we came out with a 1-1 draw. I am so happy. Oh, what a point. Seven points out of 12. Fifth place in the Premier League at the moment. We are flying high, and we are on fire. Um, so proud of the boys. What a performance. We went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the second best team in the Premier League. I mean, they did win the title two seasons ago with pretty much the same squad. So to say that we did well against them just proves that the rest of the Premier League can be beaten and we can give them a game. And that Leeds United shouldn't be um, taken for granted. We're not pushovers. You know, you can't take an easy three points from us because the Bielsa philosophy, the fight to the death, to play for the shirt, it's, it's going to be hard for any team up against Leeds United. Rodrigo, brilliant. Cock, brilliant. Coops, apart from that first goal, but you know, he was brilliant. That that their partnership is gelling really well, um, and I don't have any worries defensively. Um, Perveda, brilliant little secret weapon there because we've got um, the pace, the tricky feet, absolutely brilliant game, um, and especially for his age, um, taking on. Man City like that and running them ragged was incredible um, my only worry um, for this team is Roberts as much as I rate him as a player he's I don't, he's just not fitting in I don't know it just doesn't work um, He's not grabbing the opportunities that Bielsa is giving him and it's frustrating to see 
it's like in today's game um when he went to pass the ball and it just it went nowhere no one was there and it and it's like he doesn't think when he passes the ball um he takes a few extra touches because he doesn't need to take um he, he's just very frustrating to watch and it's frustrating to see him not take the opportunities given to him and um i can definitely see him um eventually being taken out of the starting 11 um probably going out on loan but we will have to see um i mean bielsa does have faith in him um so if he actually does prove that his spot is worth saving then maybe he will show us what 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 he can do um but at the moment it, he's a definite question mark going forward but Alioski had a good game um apart from he got taken off i think everyone else um made a really good go and showed great effort and great determination great intensity just the leads that we're used to seeing and i'm so proud of the boys and i cannot wait until we play wolves now because they must be shaking in their boots watching that game and my god we are ready for them march on together guys well they say the beautiful game is one of two halves and wow that is absolutely true uh, the Leeds versus Man Manchester City game <sighs> firstly what a well deserved and well earned point uh, Manchester City I'm guessing will be absolutely kicking themselves that they drop points against Leeds um, I am massively massively impressed and um, thankful for the performance that the boys gave today so excellent uh, standout performance for me this evening though was definitely Robin Koch he uh, didn't seem to put a foot wrong it was amazing uh, Luke Aylin um, was again brilliant I mean come on this guy is used to being playing for um, English Football League Championships uh, teams for as long as he can remember um, and now he's been thrown straight at the deep end and it here you go deal with Raheem Serling and for the majority of the game I think he did it was amazing um, Liam Cooper second half brilliant absolutely brilliant I think he must have um, had a word with Bielsa at half time because the first half he seemed to be all over the place naturally it was his error that led to the goal and as a consequence it's, it's something that you have to be thinking about um, Kevin Phillips again first half didn't seem to be doing much a few essential blocks here and there but other than that no one seemed to be able to find him the first five minutes was frightening uh, Manchester City were all over us um, and then th after I think 35 minutes I think is when we started to find our groove and we did well um, there was a challenge on Elder Costa which really baffled me um, Costa went to the ground and um, there was a booking because of it and we clearly were on, on an attack why the heck did the referee not allow us to play on uh, we, I think we were through uh, Bamford were in a fantastic position um, and we could have done something from it and if not then pulled the play back but hey ho um, Tyler Roberts might as well have said in his car for all all it was worth um, I think he made a probably about a handful of touches slight improvement over the last game but it's, it's obvious that we need someone there to replace um, Pablo Hernandez um, speaking of which there's over two weeks now to the next game against Wolves so hopefully Pablo will be fit for that and uh, we can see some uh, momentum in that position Bamford did well um, quite quiet to be fair but he, he did well in pulling other players out of position Alioski was um, how can I put this politely highlighted uh, shall we say um, and it was the right decision to pull him off at half time but then naturally we get the game changer the man himself Spain's number 9 Rodrigo coming in and 
blitz in a game. From that moment on, it was all Leeds. And you could see that, especially from around about the 70th, 75th minute, Manchester City were hemmed in and Pep were panicking. You could see the look on his face and you could see with the tactical decisions he was making, some defensive substitutions, etc. And that was all due to the game tempo that had been dictated by Rodrigo, the chances he was creating when he won that corner and then obviously scoring the goal straight afterwards, it was all down to him and you could see um, between plays, you could see how he was influenced in the rest of the team, he was um, consolidating uh, team members and uh, congratulating them and all these sort of things, putting his arm around players and saying well done, at the end of the game he was shaking other people's hands, absolute consummate professional. And if Diego Llorente is able to um, match that kind of ethos, then the future is absolutely glowing for Leeds United. Absolutely glowing. Overall, massively, massively impressed. For me, that has been the performance of the season so far. Um, even better, I think, than our performance against Liverpool, simply because of the result, probably. But overall... I just, I just can't wait for the Wolves game. There's an international break. Do we have to have it? Can't we just play tomorrow? <laughs> Thank you very much, Leeds. Match it all together. Hi there, it's Anthony here with your post-match reaction for Leeds 1, Man City 1. What a result that is. Unbelievable. And to be fair, I'm a bit gutted because we, we probably should have won. I thought Man City got away with that a bit. I thought Bamford and Ayling going through on goal uh, should score, but Edison... You know, one of the world's best goalkeepers, just unbelievable. But we should be doing better in those positions. But in the, at the end of the day, to be in those positions in the first place against Manchester City, we've got no right, no right to play that way. And we absolutely dominated large periods of the game. Obviously, in the first 20 minutes, we were nervous, just nervous. I, I thought Phillips, uh, Meslier in that um, ailing and uh, definitely quite a few players that just looked a bit nervous in the first 20 minutes you could really feel their nerves and City's high press uh, we couldn't get out of the back lines really we couldn't really get out of there but once City scored they seemed to stop doing that they seemed to stop pressing us I don't know why and Leeds just became really comfortable from there it was a really comfortable watch for me um, and straight out into the second half as well we really got at them Pervader I did not see that coming. What a little, what a little player he is! Uh, he, he just looks stronger than than usual under BL. So I don't, I just didn't see it coming. He made minced meat out of Mendy, and Mendy came off looking absolutely knackered. He was sweating, and I just love that. I thought Leeds man to man were were brilliant in the second half. Last fifteen minutes, City came into it a bit more, but so they should. It's Manchester City, and I thought we managed the game really well. In, in the last 15 minutes, we really did. Um, and a point is just an unbelievable result. But, you know, we created lots of chances as well. We could have gone on and win it, re won it, really. I thought Edison, despite making the mistake for Rodrigo's goal, was probably one of the you know, men of the match. Um, so, just an unbelievable performance. You know, played our first four games and got seven points against two of the best teams in the world in those in those opening four fixtures. It's just, it's just great. I, I, I'm, I'm loving this, lads. Come on, Lee's. This is brilliant.